Man, I, you know, I was uh, kind of thinking the last couple of days, why don't I get out the old Super Nintendo? See how Black Ops 3 plays on it. Hey, what is up, guys? This is Bo or Carl Hunga 712. Today I'm bringing you some Black Ops 3 on the last gen console. I did end up buying it for the Xbox 360 uh, to play with Lauren. You'll see, uh, you'll see her name here in the background, Yamaha Racer. Um, we end up doing some work here on Safeguard on combine which of course i hate this fucking map i don't understand what everybody's infatuation is with this map combine i just i've i've never enjoyed this game i've i think i i think after the second for or probably second or third game of the beta i absolutely hated this map but it seems to be everybody's favorite next to nuketown which i also cannot stand um but uh, like i said i think you guys are gonna like the gameplay here i dropped just about 50 kills we end up going two rounds here on these guys. I do some sniping. I do some pistol work. I use the VMP. Um, but uh, I figured today I'd do uh, do kind of a new series with you guys here, talking about s certain games or uh, just maybe some things that are going on in games. Um, you know, it's what I really think about that, basically. Or tell me how you really think about that. So, I figured I'd like I said I I bring out the old the old gen. I man I missed the 360. I was, came back and I was playing some of the older Call of Duties because I'm trying to get some footage on MW2 to do the uh, Road to COD 2016 stuff. And God, I I missed the controller from the Xbox 360. I don't know about you guys, but man, I missed the controller. Just uh, I think the controller just fit my hand perfectly. Um, I also love the. Uh, the way the trigger stops also work. I can fire my pistol so fast on the on the last gen, but obviously graphics wise, this isn't anywhere near uh, the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4 at all, as you guys can see here. One thing I'll say is that the like when you get into the map, the basically the lighting is a lot different. Um, basically, you know the it the maps almost remind you. It's it's not that they're necessarily just rotten i mean of course you know compared to the next gen consoles um it's definitely it's definitely not anything close to it but uh it's it's almost like they couldn't add the proper textures and things in and i know i know memory capacity and and just ram wise the the, the xbox 360 is an old old console it really is it just it can't handle you know the the new stuff i was just kind of shocked when i when i started playing this how truly poor the the graphics are on this game just because I mean you go back and you play Black Ops 2 you play Black Ops 1 you play MW2 um, you just you, you go back and play oh, excuse me, guy. you go back and play some of the old Call of Duties and it's just graphically I think they're just they're superior to this game and it's just kind of surprising you know but like I said, first off, uh, the graphics, if you're expecting next-gen graphics, obviously you're not going to get it. And this is a good example right here with, uh, with Combine. Now, um, of course, the, I think the guns look pretty decent and the player models look pretty decent, but everything's really grainy. You know, you could tell that the system just it can't handle the newer games. And I, I really feel bad for people who are still playing on the last-gen consoles because you shouldn't get screwed over, you know. It's kind of unfortunate, but... Uh, like I said, the graphics, of course, are subpar. Now, uh, the movement, the movement in this game is beautiful. It's just it's is it's as good as it is on the PlayStation 4, or the Xbox One. Very smooth, very crisp, very Titanfall-esque uh, type of movement, just like in the new, in the next-gen consoles. So very, very smooth. So you don't, you know, if you're expecting like choppy or glitchy stuff, not at all. It's like I said, it's very smooth. It, this game handles very well. Uh, just like it does on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Uh, one thing I'll say, if you guys do decide to uh, go back and play this game or decide to buy it cheap, that was the main reason I got this, you know, is to play with uh, some of my subscribers on the Xbox 360, um, including Lauren. And uh, basically just, you know, I was just curious to see how it would handle. And as you can see right there, there's some, some glitching and some lagging. Uh, there's a lot of lag issues on the the older consoles. There are no dedicated servers, um, or none that I found. Anyways, they were all host host uh, player hosted lobbies, which you can understand. It's a, like I said, it's a last gen game. Activision doesn't give a shit. You know, you know. Let's release it. Let's make a little extra money for the people who don't have Xbox Ones or PlayStation Fours yet. But uh, like I said, uh, the connections are really poor. Um, 
and I've got a net Duma. I basically control, it's on strict mode, I completely control who joins the lobby. You have to have, you have to have low ping, you have to, I mean, it, it has to run smooth. And even with the net Duma, there's still around 100 ping. So that's one thing you, you guys will have to worry about if you do get this for, uh, for the last gen consoles. Unfortunately, I don't have a PlayStation 3, so I can't tell you how it handles on there. I did play the PC version, actually, during the beta, and actually played and handled quite well. So, um, again, I can't say too much on the, uh, you know, PC-wise. I do hope to get a new PC, uh, though I just figured I'd throw that out with you guys there. Um, pretty soon here, I'm hoping to get a much more powerful one and start... I'd like to start getting back into PC gaming, because... Uh, uh, of basically a topic for another video i'm going to tell you why I, I don't know if we're going to see call of duty for many more years to come um like i said that's just a personal opinion i, I don't, i'm not saying that's the facts or anything but i'd like to start getting great at arama again i used to play it when it was operation flashpoint um one of my i, I think that's the greatest shooter ever made it's it's realistic and that's what i love about it um, get back to playing that. Get back to uh, playing some CS:GO. I actually almost streamed some CS:GO tonight on uh, the Xbox. But if you guys would be interested in watching something like that, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to stream you some CS:GO. And I can tell you, um, I used to be a boss on the mouse and keyboard. I haven't played mouse and keyboard gaming for I'm gonna go out on the limb and say 15 years, 10 years, 15 years. So. Um, when I do start uh, PC gaming back up again, it is going to probably take me a good six months before I get anywhere near what I used to be. Um, but uh, just uh, bear with me if I start streaming some of that stuff, guys. Um, but anyways, getting back to the game, sorry for the tangent there. Um, uh, Gunplay-wise, um, the guns sound pretty decent, actually, surprisingly. Um, I noticed, though, that a lot of the guns really don't have a whole hell of a lot of recoil. Uh, once in a while, you'll see the gun kick up a little bit. But for the most part, these guns are pretty la pretty laser beam-like. Which, of course, who doesn't like an easy gun to use? I mean, we, we kind of all do. We kind of all enjoy the easy guns, but... Um, like I said, I'm, I'm only like a level 14 or something, so I hardly have anything unlocked. The snipers actually feel great in this game. I actually prefer the way the snipers feel in the on the 360. But of course, that could be just because of the controller. I, I just love the 360 controller, the feel of it. I just thought it was a lot easier to handle, to aim, everything like that. And like I said, the trigger stops, I really preferred on... Uh, the Xbox 360 because you really don't have trigger stops on the PlayStation 4 and I play flipped so I use actually the right and left uh, bumpers uh, compared to the triggers so um, I do play a little bit differently that way but anyways like I said the feel of the game's great the guns they sound pretty damn good um, one of the big issues I have with the last gen Black Ops 3 is that the game doesn't always run at 60 FPS. A lot of times it runs at something lower than 60 FPS. And you'll notice that quite a bit. I don't know if you'll notice it so much in the recording here. But just the feel of the game at times. Not all the time, but at times it feels kind of clunky. And it's kind of glitchy a little bit. And again, that's just that's just due to the hardware just being so outdated. It just it, it struggles handling uh, the new... The new uh, what would you call it the new requirements for the game it just it's 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 not meant for it it's just not meant for it and but like i said otherwise i i do think the game is worth picking up for the on the cheap if you uh, uh if you can afford picking it up i think i bought it for like 20 bucks or 30 bucks on uh on uh, from nebraska furniture and uh like i said i've been very happy with it um unfortunately you know i think it's getting to that point now with the new game, I'm, I'm just starting to, to become more... Uh, basically, I'm disinterested in the game, is what I'm trying to say. Um, it's not it's not as enjoyable as it was at first. Uh, for some reason, I think the... I think the beta... I don't, see, uh, one of the guys I watch, one of the YouTubers I watch, and... You know, check out his channel if you haven't, if you've never heard of him or if you've never checked out his stuff before. Great A content. He's a very smart guy. Um, his name's Oven Baked Muff, and he does he always does the review on the game every year, talking about net code and how much uh, lag input and things like that are in the game. And basically, the beta was almost flawless. I mean, of course, it's not flawless, but it was it basically we we were getting back to where Call of Duty was during COD 4 MW2. Uh, very low. Uh, 
very low input lag and things like that. And basically the game ran really smoothly. And I remember he was saying in his comment section, because he would like to make a video of the final version of the game. I don't know if he ever will, but... Uh, he was saying in a lot of the comments section that once they started patching the game, it's almost like they just threw all that out the door and there's a lot more issues. There's yeah, there's quite a few more issues with the game, especially with the input lag and stuff. So I think I'm just getting, like I said, with this game, I think I'm just getting frustrated with it. Some of the nonsense. I think that's that's pretty natural with Call of Duty. Like I said, it's, uh, game's fun. It, it really is. Uh, there's There's a lot of nights where you get on and... Like I said, everything's working for you and the game's really fun. And then there's some nights where, you know, people are lagging all over the map. They're glitching through doors, shit like that. They're two-shotting you with a gun that takes five shots to kill. You know, and of course, there's there's nothing I can do about that. There's There really isn't. I mean, even with my Net Duma, there's still going to be lobbies that lag sometimes. It's just it's just the way it is. It's just the facts. But uh, like I said, all in all, I, th I think this last gen's definitely worth buying, especially if you have friends that you like to play with and things like that. Um, like I said, I do recommend picking it up on the cheap. It's a fun game. It kind of it kind of brought me back to Black Ops 3 a bit here. You know, picking this up for something different. It really did. It was fun. It was different. Um, like I said, the graphics compared to next gen or, you know, the new consoles, they're nothing, nothing like, uh, you know, the, the graphics are nothing like that. But I still think it's worth picking up. It's fun. It's different. Like I said, the maps look different. It's it's almost like you picked up a different game, I guess. Even though it's the same game, it's different. You know, there's different aspects of it. Like I said, the controller, if you love the Xbox 360 controller, you're going to love it. Like I said, the movements are crispy. Um, there's actually quite a few people online. I, I never really struggled finding any matches. Of course, uh, you don't have league play. Um, I don't know. Zombies-wise, I don't think you have many maps. I know we uh, last gen gets the first DLC map pack, but I believe that's it, unfortunately. And uh, like I said, you just have your normal game modes. TDM, uh, Domination, Hardpoint, uh, Search and Destroy, Capture the Flag. You've got your hardcore modes. You've got Safeguard on here, obviously, that we're playing. So uh, you can definitely find matches. Um, and like I said, if you're if you're looking for just something different, if you if you enjoyed the Xbox 360 the way it, the way the game handled, you know I, I definitely recommend uh, giving it a go. And I, f I figured I'd do these kind of off the cuff uh, commentaries. Let me know if you like these type of things. Um, I actually really enjoy these where you know I, I kind of talk about a topic. Like I said, uh, you know, let me know how you really feel is basically what I'm going to call it. Just letting you guys know how I you know feel about the last gen console i figured i'd do it with uh, call of duty maybe too just in general cod 2016 talk about that kind of how i feel about it and what i think uh to come or whatever what i've what i'm predicting will will come of the next call of duty but uh that'll be it for another video um sorry i didn't do a throwback thursday again for you guys i was going to do one for watermelon since it was his birthday so happy birthday to him. Unfortunately, I just I couldn't get any great gameplay. Um, he wanted he wanted to see a ghost upload for a Throwback Thursday. So hopefully this next Thursday I can do a Throwback for you guys and uh, for Watermelon again here. So you know, unfortunately, I, I know a lot of times people think you can just hop on and you, know, you snap your fingers and everything everything works out. It, unfortunately, it doesn't. Uh, sometimes you get into slow lobbies. Uh, sometimes your shot's just not on it, you know, and I, I'll be the first to admit that, you know, I'm not the greatest player, not even close, you know, I think I'm a pretty good player, I'm a pretty uh, cerebral player, Pro God, I can't even talk now, you can tell I'm starting to get tired, but a cerebral player, you know, I know where people are going to be, I'm pretty smart with my gun and stuff, but uh, anyways, uh, like I said, let me know if you guys like these type of commentaries, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I'll see you next video, have a good night guys, and bow out.